In this video, I will show you how to scan, annotate, and then export a document. I start on my desktop and switch to the communication list of my colleague Gerhard Trager. I would like to submit Gerhard Trager's new certificate, which he has brought in as a double-sided copy. I select the menu point Tools and then Scan. I am now prompted to scan in a document, so I do so and press the Scan button on my scanner. The scanner, a Fujitsu ScanSnap S1500, scans both sides in one pass. The scanner then starts the OCR recognition so that the PDF contains text information. The web browser recognizes the scanned PDF document and requests confirmation for the upload. I confirm with yes and the file is added to the list and automatically selected. With F2, I can rename the new document and save the new name with the enter key. By pressing enter once more, the document is opened in Acrobat Reader, with both scanned pages available to read. So how does that work technically? Well, I select the function Tools and Scan and read the text in the dialog. Scan a document using your scan software. Please make sure that your scan software writes the scan file to the clipboard. In case your scan software does not support this feature, you may assign the tool Copy to Clipboard as a post-processing step. I select the link to Copy to Clipboard and open the corresponding zip file. A program for Windows is included. This program can now be used for the scan button of my Fujitsu scanner. To do this, I select the scanner's scan button settings and see on the application page the entry for the application. The program is entered here so that it is executed as a post-processing step. The other options remain unchanged. I've selected Convert to Searchable PDF. The application Copy to Clipboard is also important for the integration with the web browser. OK, so next I want to add annotations to the new document. To do this, I select the function Annotate in the context menu. A viewer is opened that loads the scanned document. In this viewer, I can now open a speech bubble, for example, and enter a text. I can also highlight text, since the text is recognised when scanning in. I highlight a section of the document and add a stamp, then confirm my changes and close the document. If I open the document with a double click, then the unchanged PDF is displayed in Acrobat, because it's important that the original is not changed. So where are my annotations saved? I open the document's metadata with the context menu properties and switch to the tab Remarks. The annotations are saved here in the list Annotations. I open the details of an annotation and see the details that I entered. The text and the page are cited and additionally the property Access defines whether the annotation is public, private, i.e. only I can see the annotation in the annotation viewer, or deleted. You can also simultaneously see when the annotation was created and when it was last changed. Annotations are edited by the PDF view of a document, but don't necessarily need a PDF document. Let's take a look at this with an image. I import an image by drag and drop into Gerhard Trager's communication list. Confirm the upload and can now open the image with the context menu, annotate and add an annotation. If I log in as user Arno Stone in the Google Chrome browser, then I see an adapted context menu. In the Chrome browser, only annotate and edit is possible. An object's metadata can be edited and simultaneously opened in an external viewer. I can now edit the annotations in the viewer and simultaneously make changes to the metadata. I delete two annotations. If I close the window with the metadata, then the viewer is also closed. I switch back to user Steve Liner and take a look again at the annotations in detail. I can see which annotations have been deleted and by whom. We have very easily scanned one document and imported another with drag and drop. These documents can now be just as easily exported. I select both documents in the list and use the download button. I confirm the download with open and the zip file containing the selected documents is now available locally on my desktop. And with that, I have, in just very few steps, just scanned, annotated and exported a document.